within the sort of the team, do you discuss with like fellow teammates, so like guys who had knee surgery, guys who had ACL injuries, um, sort of amongst each other, sort of to kind of bolster and sort of support one another and sort of introduce a bit of enthusiasm and just right this and yes, it's going to be six weeks or eight weeks, you know, but sit tight, it's, you know, it's going to get better. Yeah, that's all, always also the case when you, when you have a knee or a shoulder, you, you try to find a guy who had that same, same operation and, and just get some, some pointers. We were there four weeks, we were there eight weeks. Um, and you speak to your physios the whole time and said, you worked with player X, how long did it take for you to start benching 60 kgs or, or whatever? So, it's not max, by the So, you find those, uh, yeah, you know, people that's been in that situation and then you try to compare. And you always want to want to be a, a step above them or really yeah. ready for them. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, based on that, I'm sure the first day you find out you get injured must be sort of a really sad day. You know, you come off the field and shit, you can't play, your knee's injured. Are the guys, do you, it's the same token of, the, you know, helping each other get back. I mean, are they all very supportive, you know, like, listen, you're going to be all right, you know, just take it easy, get your scans, get your surgery if needed, and then, you know, we're going to get you back on the field. Are the guys just very, very camaraderie and you know sort of supportive in that initial stage when you really go on I suppose. Yeah I think it's probably like any environment you have um, we, we, we call it rugby uh, community we call colleagues but you do have your three or five or, or six good friends yeah uh, so you, you won't always be in touch with people you know, those close guys who come to visit your, your house or, yeah. or help you where they can so uh, I think it's like that in, in any environment you've, you've got a big system but there's probably uh, three or four guys that's really interested in, in our, what your progress is like, how you're doing, um, we want to get back. Um, but yeah, so because you've, and I understand that because in a rough environment they've got the game to focus on, they've got videos to watch, they've also got a family at home, so um, yeah, you all stay in your, in your bubble and yeah, not also in case you have two or three guys that's still really checking up on you. Absolutely. Before it comes to slowly kind of wrap it up yeah. with the, even like if there was if you could give us some advice um, so as as a patient what what do you take from a doctor or a physio or a bio what's the most important attribute and um, like what like if you if, if I had to do my job better to 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 work with you or Andrew to work with you what could us as medical professionals do better for you as a patient? Uh, <laughs> now, but be honest, because we, and put your hands up, like, you, are, are we all the best communicators here? You know? Because I'll phone them tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> you know, that, that, that kind of, that's where I'm going with that. It's pro probably simple phone things. Like telling, look, I, mean, I want to know, you'll be out for six weeks, on week two, you'll have this, on week four, you'll have this, you'll be able to do this. Um, also, probably an old patient don't know all the big words. Um, so you can just tell me your shoulder is sore from year to year. Don't use all these medical terms, but I think yeah, simplifying things um, that's probably the biggest thing. Fantastic.